Hello dear students, in this session we will uh, uh, try to understand de Broglie's explanation for Bohr's second postulate. Now here uh, what is a very important thing that we should remember is Bohr's theory is given in 1913, okay. Bohr's theory is given in 1913 and Niels Bohr got Nobel Prize for this his achievement in 1922, but still the explanation for second postulates of Bohr's theory was not explained. What is that? Angular momentum of an electron which is revolving in stationary orbit should be integral multiple of h by 2 pi. The explanation for the second postulate was not given even after he got Nobel Prize. Now, what uh, Louis de Broglie does is he gives an explanation. What he uh, tells is hope we have studied uh, stationary equation or standing waves in first PU or class 11. So, you, you might have seen some structures like this. Okay. These are called standing waves or stationary waves means say here there is a rigid support and you have a string or wire and if you pluck it, okay, if you give some disturbance standing waves are formed okay. or if you observe them closely they appear like they are standing, okay. they are at rest that is why we call them as standing waves. Now, if you look at the length, if this length is lambda, okay, this length is also equal to lambda. What, what Louis, Louis B. D. Broglie told is electron does not revolve around the atom as a particle, it revolves around the atom as a wave forming a stationary wave pattern like, see. So, what is the general understanding? General understanding is electron uh, revolves around the nucleus. Okay, like this in a circular orbit, this is the nucleus charge of the nucleus is at E. But what Louis de Broglie tells is, so instead electron revolves like this forming a standing wave pattern okay, like this. Okay. Now, what he tells is, what is the length of the path? Length of the path is 2 pi r n, correct na? 2 pi r. Okay. Say so, this is the nth orbit 2 pi r n. Okay. So, this is length of the path. That length of the path should be integral multiple of lambda, should be integral multiple of lambda because we, uh, we have seen say if this is a uh, stationary wave, stationary wave, okay. what is length of this? Length of this is lambda. Okay. If the length is other than lambda, then there will be a destructive interference and the standing wave pattern will collapse. Okay. So, what he tells is electron is revolving around the nucleus forming a standing wave pattern okay, length of which should be integral multiple of lambda. Okay. Here he takes the hint. Then according to his own theory de Broglie hypothesis we know that lambda is equal to h by m v. Here I will write m v n, v n stands for velocity of the electron in the nth orbit. Okay what he does? He substitutes the equation for wavelength from his theory. Okay. De Broglie is very intelligent. Okay. Then what happens? 2 pi r n is equal to n into h by m v n. Uh, now, this m v n comes here. So, what happens? m into v n into r n is equal to n into h by 2 pi. So, what is this m v r? m v r means angular momentum. Okay. Angular momentum of an electron revolving in the stationary orbit should be integral multiple of h by 2 pi. See the, the importance of uh, this explanation is, if you think that electron as a particle, you cannot give explanation to Bohr's second postulate. But we know that Bohr's second postulate is correct, because using Bohr's theory everything is explained. You can calculate radius, you can calculate velocity and energies and you can calculate the spectral lines, wavelengths of spectral lines and everything is correct. So, Bohr's theory is correct, Bohr's second postulate correct okay? and he Niels Bohr got Nobel prize also. Now, what de Broglie is telling? If you think that electron is a wave, you can give explanation to the Bohr's second postulate and that is correct. So, therefore, de Broglie hypothesis is also correct. So, this is the significance of Louis de Broglie's explanation for Bohr's second postulate. Thank you very much.